Yeah, I'm Cliff Rosendale. Um, I'm a GP practicing in Brisbane. Uh, and I've been involved in putting the program together for this dermatoscopy masterclass. Um, it's designed to provide what's not available in textbooks. So it's, it's something um, cutting edge. And the guest, the guest uh, speaker, Harold Kittler, is the person who um, redesigned dermatoscopy from the ground up using revised pattern analysis, objective, descriptive terminology, clearly defined um, terms. And this has revolutionised um, the way it can be used in practice and also translated into various languages because it's a much simpler um, system. Now, uh, Harold has been involved in, in research and education for many years. And recently he's been involved in research into artificial intelligence and skin cancer diagnosis. Um, this has been very um, in-depth research. What was done, um, dermatoxy was gamified, so uh, people were encouraged to compete. And this worked very, very well. And so they were able to get 140 machines, um, algorithmic machines to compete, select the best three in the world, and they pit them against 511 expert dermatoscopists. And in the clinical setting, the humans couldn't beat the machines. So in batches of 30 diagnoses, um, the best humans were getting 18.7 out of 30, the machines were getting 25.6 out of 30. So this was um, interesting and, and for some people disturbing, and it raises the question of what is the best use of, of machine learning? And so the research was done into that. And this is um, cutting edge, so I can't give you too much information. But it turns out that um, artificial intelligence is most useful for beginners rather than experts, but also useful for experts when they're not confident. So it's a bit like if you have a, a, a lesion, you're not sure of what it is, you email me a dermatoscopy image, you ask for my opinion, um, and you get it, you'll be able to put your device, your dermoscopic device on a lesion and get an instant second opinion from artificial intelligence. It won't replace you, you'll still have to select the lesion. So this is one of the things that you'll hear about in the masterclass. Um, another thing which is interesting, um, Simon Clark, dermatopathologist, Harold Kittler is also a dermatopathologist, and it's very important the correlation between dermatoscopy and pathology, as you know, so you'll get some really um, good insights into this. People might be surprised that the nevus, which is most likely to be associated with a melanoma, when melanoma occurs with a nevus, is not dysplastic nevus, it's a dermal nevus, right? In fact, the type of nevus which is least likely to be associated with a melanoma is a dysplastic nevus. So, um, this sort of turns upside down the thinking uh, as it exists at the moment in, in general practice and in dermatopathology in Australia. And this is really relevant because um, to understand what is behind the terminology dysplastic nevus, when you get a report, severely dysplastic nevus, re-excise with margins as for a melanoma, that's not helpful. Right, so um, this is one of the things that will be discussed. This masterclass is aimed at anybody who is involved in diagnosing skin cancer. Now, while there are things there for the very experienced, the learners will also benefit from it because this is, we're all GPs. We, you know, I'm a GP, um, we're all involved in skin cancer diagnosis. We all have to have a beginning in our learning curve. And just because you go to an advanced um, masterclass early in your experience will not be a disadvantage for you. You'll pick up lots of things um, and you'll remember lots of things and, and, and it's anyone who diagnoses skin cancer will gain from this masterclass. Now as far as my presentation, I'll be talking about um, special sites including the face and you will learn how to easily distinguish between lentigo maligna, pigmented actinic keratosis and sole lentigo. These things which seem so difficult are not difficult when you understand the differences between these 
flat pigmented facial lesions. <coughs> with respect to the special sites, I'm also draw on my personal experience with seven, uh, sorry, 11 cases of nail matrix melanoma that I've personally uh, been involved with, with biopsying and, and diagnosing and help you understand when you need to perform a nail matrix biopsy and precisely how to do it. So the other thing which we're all going to talk about, John Pine, Simon Clark, myself, Harold Kittler, is our worst disasters in skin cancer work. Our worst um, things that we really regret. And so you'll get to share from our errors or mistakes or whatever. Um, and this is going to be a, a really, really hands-on, interesting um, masterclass, and I look forward to seeing you there.